Hey Bobbleheads, my skirm here, and welcome to an unboxing video. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing, boom, Geek Fuel. Uh, this is the Geek Fuel box for this last month. Uh, I just got it, and I'm gonna take a look at what's inside of it. This box is cool, it's the subscription box. I've done these before, but if you don't know what they are, basically you pay this company, Geek Fuel, monthly. You can buy multiple months at a time, but you pay a monthly rate, and every month, once a month, they ship you a box full of goodies. And each box, you know, there's a lot of them on the market, and each one has sort of a different angle that it takes. And Geek Fuel, as far as I can tell, is all about retro geeky goodness. Um, every box is gonna have a t-shirt. I've seen in the past boxes, they've had lots of like comic book sort of stuff, superhero stuff, lots of Marvel stuff, and lots of retro gaming stuff. And I also saw, which is interesting, and I'm interested to see if there's one in this box, there are lots of Steam keys for uh, Steam games that you just, you get a key in the box, you enter it on Steam, and the game is yours to keep. So we'll see if I get a game out of this one. Uh, but here we go, I'm gonna dive right into it. Opening it up on top, starting off right away with a little magazine called Retro Video Game Magazine, labeled bonus. Um, oh yeah, I remember that. When I looked at the website uh, when I was getting my box, this was on there. They, they do stuff like this sometimes where you get a little magazine bonus. This is a mini magazine. It looks like it's best retro games uh, from their this year of magazines um, and it says stuff about collecting Sega Genesis games um, and there are lots of good Sega title characters on the cover uh, but so that's cool I mean so that's a little bonus I I just started collecting for a Genesis too so that's a uh, that's interesting to me I wonder if there might be some stuff in there that I need to know and the first thing I see is super win the game soundtrack edition downloadable game and keychain Ten dollar value. Oh wow! Well, there you go, man. So this is a Geek Fuel exclusive. Uh, download a copy of the game on Steam. So there is on the back here. I'm not going to show you guys because it's mine. But there's a Steam code, and on the front there's this little key, and it looks like this game is a modern game, but it's a it's like a spoof of retro games, so it looks like it might be a platformer, it looks like there's a hero, and you find some keys, some sort of thing. But there you go. Off the bat, $10 value Steam key is the first thing I pull out of the box. Um, I am excited by this because the next thing I pull out of the box is the Geek Fuel Guide, um, which this looks like... It's sort of a look what's in the box, look what the look what we've been doing lately. And yeah, there's some stuff about Comic-Con. I see some characters holding the box. So yeah, this is like a little promo booklet. Tells you uh, what, you, what you might expect in other boxes, things of that nature. Next is a, a bookmark, it looks like, with Sub-Zero reading. And it says, finish it instead of finish him, if you know the classic. And on the other side, I think that's Scorpion, also reading, it says finish it. Classic, classic reference. Oh, and I see why there are bookmarks. Let me put this to the side. That is because there are two full-length novels. Whoop, it fell over. Uh, it looks like we got Jurassic Park, the, the first book, and then we got uh, The Lost World, both of the Michael Crichton novels, uh, which I think the movies are based on, unless it's just very coincidental that the movies are called Jurassic Park and the Jurassic Park 2 is called The Lost World. Uh, but th these, these are the books. Um, and so that's why there's a bookmark, because there's books, which is cool. I have never read those. I have seen those movies. I've never read the books. So that is interesting. Next up, we have 90s Mutant Hero Ooze, which uh, I think this is, it looks kind of like Gak or something, but let me see if I can get this out of here. Ugh. Oh no. Ugh, I don't like these. These always make me kind of uncomfortable. Excuse me. It's really squishy, but there you go. Ugh. It's alive. Actually, it's just an ooze. Oh no, it's sticking to me. Okay, okay. Ugh. Oh man, it's really gooey. It's oozy, and you just go, just go back in your jar. Woo! That I that was concerning feeling on my hands. Another thing that we've got in here is a Red Ranger magnet. It's just like a fridge magnet. Gotta collect all of those, I would imagine. 
And that is most of it, but it brings us to my favorite part of every box, as I make a bunch of noise right next to the mic, probably. The t-shirt. Um, and this one is promising looking. Let me unravel it and see what we got here. <laughs> Booyah. There it is, baby. So it's a, uh, it's a spoof. I don't know if you can tell because it's a little dark green on green there, but it's a spoof of the Da Vinci. I think it's Da Vinci? Um, man drawn with his arms out in the circle and it's got a bunch of stuff about anatomy around it, I think. I don't exactly know what's written, but it's a spoof of that and it appears to be an alien who is uh, flayed out and he's, he's very casual. His feet are like casually, he's hanging out. Doesn't seem concerned, even though he's probably about to be dissected by a classical Italian scholar. And that is the haul. And like I said, this, uh, a lot of boxes you get like vinyl collectibles and you get a lot of modern stuff about like cartoons or whatever. It seems pretty focused to me. The focus of this box, Geek Fuel, is retro gaming and, uh, and retro stuff, because I will say, I don't think uh, Jurassic Park, I mean, I'm sure there are Jurassic Park games, I don't think these are very video gamey, but they are very cool. I think a lot of people would appreciate adding these to their libraries, because one, Jurassic World just came out, which I still haven't seen, gotta work on that. Um, and two, they're just very classic. I mean, this is, it's it's science-y, and the movies, the movies kind of play it off, like it's supposed to be this science-y adventure, but really, Jurassic Park is fantasy. And it's a great kind of fantasy because it involves dinosaurs coming back to life. Um, so those are fun. I'm excited about that game. I gotta enter that Steam key and see what Super Win the Game is all about. It looks very retro, very, uh, very classic style to the art on there. And yeah, that is it, man. That is everything that was in the box. Cool box, cool shirt. Uh, as as always, I was looking back through the shirts on the website and I was like, gosh, I should have got this before because all of these shirts that they've had, like the last three or four shirts, all look pretty awesome. Uh, but there we go. And like I said, this is a subscription box, Geek Fuel. Check them out at, at geekfuel.com or better yet, if you like this box and you want to get it for yourself, check out the link in the description below. Um, every person who subscribes to this service through my link helps and supports the channel. Um, I get a cut of, of, uh, of every subscription, so that is awesome. If you like this box, if you want to try it out, check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, thank you for liking, commenting, and everything that you do. As always, this has been Mike Sturm, and I'll see you in the next one. Right now. Which one are uh, you? Are you the one far out there? Yeah. Are you by the, the bridge? green one! Who's there are the four bridge. green ones. Alright, I think he's the one the bridge. bridge. I just dropped an artillery on you, Baron. Yeah, yeah. thank you for that. Don't worry, I'll start repairing them. You're trying oh, to kill them. Oh, destroyed, yeah, wow. Whoa! How'd you do that? That's so crazy. Magic. Hopefully you guys kill... Did someone kill them? Are they, are they still oh, coming dude. in over there? Ooh, I've yeah, killed two. Yeah, dude. Wow, holy crap. Oh, there's a T-35 